apartment by herself. It's crazy. She got her mask on though. It's just crazy. <clears throat> you know, we can't even come in. One place we canceled the appointment because they wouldn't even allow her to record. She's gonna record everything she can today. Um, but they're not allowing us to even bring cameras in so we can, you know, keep these moments captured. It's probably the worst time to be pregnant for pregnant women. And one of their employees is pregnant. I'm seeing her walk in right now. It's crazy. They still have to come to work. We're still working every day. Our company is still running. We're trying to keep freight moving. But without us, I'm telling you, the country shuts down. If they stop moving us, I don't know what people are going to do, you know. 72 hours of no freight moving. Not going to work for America. We're trying to just stay positive and keep our heads up. Stay safe, the kids. Say hi. They're watching. Um, what are y'all watching? Onward. Onward. And on the iPad while mommy's in her doctor's appointment. This is weak though, honestly. We like to do everything together as a family, so not allowing the family to come in and to enjoy these pregnancy moments, it's just bogus. Hey, we're gonna do some cool stuff at home. We're gonna try to figure out some cool stuff to do at home. The kids just learn how to play Monopoly, so thinking about just doing family game nights for right now. It's making us spend a lot more time with each other like we always should do anyway. We get so busy with work and different things, we kind of forget the importance of spending family time together. <clears throat> I try to do that all the time. Try to. But now it's forcing us to do it, you know. Mom, she's still attending school online right now. The kids, um, they, we have all their schoolwork, so we try to do a couple hours of schoolwork with them every day. They don't like it, but when we're, it's, we're getting used to it. But just doing, I mean, it's because it's more than homework. It's actually a full day, every curriculum. You know, we're pretty much doing it and teaching the kids. It's just cool, man, I guess, man. Right now, they're not um, they're not doing any integrated testing. Uh, so I think they're going to advance each student to the next grade because I think they go, according to information we have now, they go back to school five days before they normally would get out. So we'll see what happens. We've really just been playing it by ear, you know no traffic out ever grocery stores are not as packed different things are not as packed as it normally is it's a weird time people need to stay strong stay smart stay safe and that's all we really have we don't really have much to show today we're just going to show that we have two appointments try to do both of them in the same day the next one is um the ultrasound for her to be able to see what we're having to see the doctor. I think they're just going to check the baby's heartbeat. Um, I couldn't bring anybody here with me. It's just me by myself. Um, I'm not going to lie. I want to cry every day. But I try not to think so much about it. My husband and my kids are out in the car waiting on me till I finish. So, I'm getting kind of teary-eyed, but I have another appointment at three o'clock. My doctor is sending me to another doctor to do an ultrasound, check the baby's organs and all that, and make sure that everything is good. And after that, I'll probably go to the grocery store, pick up a few more things while we're out, and go back home. I hate being out during this. My anxiety level is through the roof. So she got a result too for a grocery run. Right? And that Rihanna. Rihanna. Grocery run, but you can't stop it. Okay, look. Coronavirus face mask family. Get <laughs> it. 
Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get mommy on camera too. <clears throat> so how are you doing during the current coronavirus incident? I hate it. Just like it strongly. Come on. I'm gonna get what we need and we're gonna go home. She still wanna shop during coronavirus. Watch out, son. You ran over, boy. YouTube. <laughs> we on the way back home now. Finished up the appointments and grabbed a few groceries. Now we're gonna head in, you know, and do nothing. Cause that's what everybody else doing. We quarantine. Everybody else doing nothing. We gonna do nothing to play games or something. Just eat and clean all day on day. I'm tired of eating and cleaning. Like nah, I'm not tired of eating. Yeah, I'm tired of cleaning every day though. Like the more time you spend in the house, the more you have to clean. Cause everybody just messy, messy, messy. Kids. All in my face like that. Kids. They had a YouTube. They spoke. They spoke earlier. Hey again, YouTube. They too busy on the pads, the iPad. They were watching a movie earlier. We don't have nothing to talk about YouTube, like just nothing, because nothing. There's happening. nothing to talk about. We can't do anything. This virus is just ruining everything. I wanted to um, do a gender reveal after my appointment today, but that's not happening. So. Hey, but we did find a store that had a few things though. We got eggs and a couple packs of meat and rice and things like that. Um, no, no nap, no um, toilet tissue. They still don't have that, but we had a decent stock. What else did we get? Donuts. <laughs> got that donuts. Fell. I'm having pregnancy cravings. I guess he's the one gaining the weight because I haven't gained any. I've lost like seven pounds since being pregnant. I'm appalled. May not look like it, but I did. Let me just call me fat. Yeah, I think just I'm call me stressing fat. with everything that's going on. Um, so, how are you guys handling the coronavirus? It's not even funny. Like, it's sad. <laughs> like, everything that's going on, it's like, I don't know, the end of times. It's stupid to even talk about it. You can't do nothing but pray. Like, seriously. We got our little mask. Everybody got their mask. He got his and his left. The kids got theirs. I don't know where Caleb's is, but. No, it may not do much. It's not an N95, but. I have allergies and I'm pregnant, so I'm more susceptible to catching something, as they say. So, they recommend that I wear my mask at the doctor's office. So, we're on the way home. I guess we'll record when we get in. No. We'll get the groceries no. unpacked. So I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning. It is the next day. We forgot to keep recording after getting in yesterday from the grocery store and the doctor's appointment. So <sighs> I'm about to get up. I'm supposed to be logged in for school right now. And... I guess I'm going to eat breakfast and we'll finish recording today. We never recorded the rest of the video when we got home. He had a conference call and what did I do? Nothing. Yes, I did. I cooked dinner 
and then something else. We just got busy, and then we just turned it into a family night after that, so we just forgot to record. But we are on our way back home. We had to come to town to go to the bank and handle some other things. So we're going to stop at the grocery store before we go home and pick up a few things for dinner. Maybe. <clears throat> Might just go home and eat what we have. Try to stay COVID free. <laughs> what are y'all having for dinner tonight? I'm tired of cooking already. But I'm not mad about saving money. Like, I noticed since we've been on lockdown, like, I've saved so much money because I would spend all my money on food and just unnecessary stuff, shopping and stuff. So, we're thinking about having chicken fajitas tonight or something. Chicken fajitas. <clears throat> this right here. Um, helped us learn um, as a unit anyway how to properly budget like I said we already were budgeting or whatever but like I said you just don't realize how much money you're spending and you're wasting every day when you go to your Starbucks or stop and get you a quick biscuit in the morning dinner or whatever so that money add up yeah. by the end of the week you've been spent like a hundred dollars yeah. when you could have just cooked at home and brought your breakfast or your lunch and your snacks. Yeah. So, I guess with everything going on, like I said, we want to do a reveal. We want to tell you guys we want it to be kind of fun. <laughs> we wanted it to be a little more fun, but I mean, with everything going on, it's like not really much we're going to be able to do um, or able to record. So, we we'll originally were going to do a photo shoot. Right. Um, I was going to order a um, maternity gown and all that and get the kids something to match or whatever. But since the coronavirus messed everything up, we're just going to, I don't know. Should we, buy the, well, should we buy the, like, the little, the confetti poppers? I don't know. Or just, I don't know. I didn't want it to be, like. Because I'm not going to show the ultrasound. And you know, show personal stuff. Well, that was another thing. Like we weren't able to like bring the cameras in and show too much stuff. Or you know, I couldn't even record when they actually told me what it was. So all they the just stuff gave me a bunch of well, not a bunch of pictures, but a few ultrasound pictures. All of it's ruined. So whatever. Like it's cool. It's a baby. It's growing kicking. I'm upset, but I'm thankful. Okay. I'm still here. We still healthy. So that's all that matters. And she getting all her hours from school right now online. Even though she hates it and she says it's boring every single day. I just don't see it, you know, being any better. Like, sitting in bed cuddling in the morning while you while you in school. <laughs> getting your hours. I so, told her to take full advantage of you know what's going on. I, I see it as a blessing. Like we spend a lot more time together. You know, um, a lot more time to think about you know <clears throat> our future. We're so busy sometimes we can't even talk about what we have planned for next year or in the next six months. So it's been pretty cool. You know, if he's on the phone, ninety-five percent of the time. So my business is ran from the phone, but it don't matter if I. If That's I'm, another thing we're thankful for. We still have income. A lot of people have lost their jobs and all that. So, and me with doing hair, like, we're not allowed to do hair for, I think, 30 days. And if they catch you, you get a fine. So, I mean, I'm thankful I was smart enough to save up my money when I was taking clients. So, I have savings from that, and he still has an income every week. We still have an income every week because we. it's our business. <laughs> so, um, but and, I know we're gonna be in high demand after this is all over. Like, 
lot of every stylist is gonna be booked. <laughs> we're gonna be getting them heads laced. So like they always do. And nails gonna be done and all that stuff. So but we're grateful, like I said, that we still have something coming in. You know, we still, you know, we invested our time and our monies into our business. Um, so we're still staying afloat, you know, even though everything else is going to crap. Um, it's a blessing, you know. So that's why we came. We only come out when we need to go to the grocery store to get something. And most of the time we get everything that first trip out. And I have to come out on Fridays. Um, to, to do payroll i have to do payroll every friday some of it is digital but some of it is manually so i have to take it out put it in their account um and half the time i don't have to come out or the kids i just want to get out the house because i stay in the house all, all week i don't even go outside because of allergies like when i stepped outside today like it instantly hit my throat and i started coughing so i try to stay inside Well, we didn't want anything. excitement for today. Yeah, we didn't want anything else today, but just to talk about this and talk about the quick little ride up town and look around. It's like a ghost town. Like, nobody's really out like that. Like, everybody's in. Like, people are really having to stay in due to the COVID. COVID-19. Whatever, yo. But it's going to say, I... I I try not to even pay attention to what's going on outside of my house anyway. So a lot of this stuff, like, I don't really have the fears that a lot of people have about it. So I, I fear nothing. Like, I'm just I'm not a person that walks around in fear. I don't like anxiety. And I, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I was scared. Yeah. Every little tickle in my throat, I wake up in oh, the no, middle of the night. It's I wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning. And be like, <clears throat> coronavirus, coronavirus. <laughs> what is that in my throat? Just grissing, mm -mm. just getting on my nerves. I'm sneezing, my nose running. Ain't I nothing but allergies. Like, she, she's already a extreme, um, like a germaphobe. I'm not germaphobe. Oh, you know, she don't like, like, I mean, it makes sense. Wash your hands, of course, you know, but I have to take all of my clothes off when I come in the house. Put them in the dirty clothes. Put them in a the washer, really. Not even dirty clothes hamper. Put them in a the washer from going nowhere. Because COVID. That is going somewhere. You go out in public like you've been out today. Me and the kids stay in the car. Cause but he went COVID. inside the bank. He went, where did you go? To the um, Staples. You went in there. Where else did you go? I said. But you're out in public. Public air like around other people so yes you need to take your clothes off when you get home you need to take a shower when you get home wash your hands put some sanitizer on when you get in the car don't touch the wheel see germaphobe don't touch your phone <laughs> your phone carries the most germs people have their phone in their hand 24 that's a, that's 7. A fact. people sit their phones down on and they don't think about it like they'll touch their phone then turn around touch their face rub their nose and all that stuff and that's you can fact. easily catch something which was crazy to me is this all stuff that existed before the COVID was here. You had the flu. You had all these other nasty diseases, and like uh, we didn't know about hand, uh, hand, foot, mouth disease until our kids started going to school. So these germs have been everywhere anyway. So me being a truck driver over the years, like I just seen some nasty people doing some nasty things or whatever. So I don't touch doorknobs if I can help it. Like <laughs> I always, I, I, I always but wash my hands. Typical. And, typical man response to everything like y'all don't too much care about it y'all care but y'all don't care right like yep. i just don't but care i care more because i'm pregnant and then we have two other kids so i've been here and I'm like super like <laughs> hard on them about keeping their hands washed and keeping their hands out their face what's this been like, like four weeks since it's, I, for four Even weeks. Even before this virus came about. Like, yeah, she, like I said, germaphobe. She always been that way, and it makes sense to, you know, uh, be cleanly and, um, you know, But that's be, what um, kids do. Like, take they like to put hygiene. stuff in their mouth, not thinking about it. Like, why do you have a freaking toy in your mouth? Why do you have a straw in your mouth? And I'm not even talking about no little baby. Like, I have a nine and a soon-to-be six-year-old. Have to pay attention, have to be cleanly, have to take care of your hygiene properly, practice proper hygiene. 
<laughs> but like I said, I don't feel like we're gonna go or be anywhere to where the COVID is present because we're doing as we're told, practicing social distance and staying inside. We just come out when we have to. And we're precautious when we're out. Wear our mask. We just try to wear a mask anyway. Um, it just feels weird to have a mask on your face, but it's better for the pollen for me. I never had pollen issues for till like two years ago. I started to have pollen issues, so pollen does give me a headache. And you still get that scratchiness in your throat. I do want us to start like recording, like when we go into grocery stores and um, different stores and stuff like that. Like if we go shopping or something, I want to start recording more. Me, I'm kind of shy to do that. Like I don't want people looking at me like, what is she doing? You know. And but I mean, it'll give y'all a better view. Like y'all ain't just looking at us in the car or us sitting on our couch at home. It's hard to get a lot of great content. That's one thing that we learned about, you know, doing YouTube, um, trying to create good content, you know, stuff that people are interested in. And then honestly got to the point to where I didn't even really care anymore. I just wanted to kind of document our life, document our journey, document our story, you know? So that's all I'm too, really more excited about now is documenting our story. I want to tell our story of how we're building what we're building, you know? And, you know, it's evidence, you know, of what we're doing now how we're still able to survive after all these shutdowns. I thought about it. Anyway, um, so, um, when we get home, I guess we're gonna try to do the reveal, I guess. I guess, man. Mm. We'll see. We're, we don't have any ideas. Because I wanted to reveal it in a photo shoot. That was my idea. And I wanted to wait till I got further along to do it. I mean, we still possibly might do the photo shoot, but... You guys will find out at the end of this video if you're going to find out or not. <laughs> we don't know yet. So we're just kind of putting it in the air. We'll let y'all know what's up. So yeah, we'll see y'all when we get home. <laughs> Back at the house again. Now we're gonna do a gender reveal. A whack one. Because yeah, it's whack. It's whack. We do not like the gender reveal, so we hope you enjoy it because we didn't enjoy the way <laughs> this fell together. So whatever. We were. I don't know. By the time we got almost home, like five minutes away from the house, we thought about it. Like we don't have no um, popper things with the confetti. <laughs> We don't have nothing. No spray paint. No. We tried to buy the little, um, the colored string, string silly spray. string. Yeah, silly string. Spray. But when we sprayed it out, it didn't even show a true color. So mm. it was like, they're not going to be able to see it. So we just took it back. It looked white. And <laughs> I wasn't going all the way back to town. Well, we kind of did. We did a lot of riding. We went to. Yeah, we did. We went to a Walmart. We went to a Dollar Tree. We went to three dollar generals yeah. we couldn't find anything so we decided to just go with something we gave up so yeah. now we're just going to do um let me see 13 mm -hmm. uh, pregnancy myths so I don't know if y'all can see this. You can see, you can see the ring light, definitely. It's just something <laughs> that I found on um, Pinterest. I'm going to turn the ring light off. Too bright. Wow. Oh, that's too dark. <laughs> We're rookies, so whatever. Whatever, so, I can see the ring light. This is just um, 13. I said 13, right? 13 pregnancy myths that I found on Pinterest and we're going to answer them and see which one has the most, a boy or a girl, and it's supposed to determine what I'm having. So, where's the marker? Okay. So, the first one says... 
um, the Chinese calendar. The Chinese calendar was telling me. How about you circle it? Her handwriting is so neat. No, Maybe. you don't have to write anything. You just circle boy the answer. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Marcus. Open. So, the Chinese calendar was telling me it was gonna be a boy. So circle boy. And the next one says, baby's heart rate. If it's less than 140, it's a girl. And if it's greater than 140, it's a boy. So when I went to the doctor, they told me the heart rate was 154. So it was greater than 140, so it's on the boy side. Um, next one says mom's cravings sweet it's a girl salty for a boy I didn't really have one more than the other I craved both always, <laughs> I'm just greedy <laughs> always crazy so we just circle in the middle I guess put a little circle in the middle um, morning sickness yes for a girl no for a boy I did have morning sickness. Still do sometimes. So, yes. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it and... I'll turn. read. What do you want me okay. to Okay. We're on dad's weight. So, dad's weight. Gain or maintain? I don't gain weight. If I, I gain when I want to. So... My weight maintained. And that's under what? Did I skip one? No, I didn't. <clears throat> so he maintained his weight. So it's saying boy. Okay. Mom's emotions. Mom's emotions. Moody or happy? I have been real moody. <laughs> Let me put a, a times 10 beside this. It's like I cry over everything. Okay. What's the next one? The next one is mom skin. Problems or glowing? Okay. If a girl says problematic skin, boys, they say they give you that glow. I feel like I've had problematic skin. My face is currently breaking out right now. You may not be able to tell on camera, but... I'm breaking out all on my forehead, all around here, like it's little pimples everywhere. But so I say problematic, which is under what girl? All right. Headaches. <sighs> Headaches. For girl it says no. For boy it says yes. Uh, I haven't had any headaches. The next one is carrying high for girl, low for boy. Is that what it says? It says high for girl, low for boy. Okay. I think I'm carrying low. Low, low, lit low. Come on. <clears throat> next one. Dreams. Have she been dreaming for a girl? Or dreaming for a boy. It's girl for girl, boy for boy. Um, I think I've had two dreams where I was dreaming about babies and in the hospital, and they were both boy. So we're gonna circle boy. <clears throat> Mother's intuition. I don't know if y'all can still see this, but. Mm -hmm. Mother's intuition. Mother's intuition. Girl for girl. Boy for boy. My intuition <clears throat> was it was going to be a girl. Only because, like, with my daughter. Well, this pregnancy, I had morning sickness. Caleb. Right moody. Down. Face was breaking out. All that happened when I had my daughter. So that's what my intuition was for it to be a girl. Yeah, 
it says current age and month of conception okay my age is 28 <clears throat> and the month I conceived was in November you conceived in November yes <laughs> they didn't even see you see me now so according to that if it's um what is that is the odd is November is odd an odd number so, how am I supposed to do that? Because my age is even and my month of conception is odd. Do I add them together? It says, oh, so you're doing both. So it'll be 39, right? I don't know. I guess it'll be in between. So it's odd. Okay. I guess. So that odd for girl, even for boy. <clears throat> and it says, belly, belly shape. shape. Wide, wide for oh, girl. Wide for girl. Round for boy. I feel like I'm wide. Been wide for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how many do we have for a girl? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven for girl. And we have one. Write it. See if I can write it backwards. Seven for girl. Yeah, seven for girl. And then for boy, we have what? One, two, three, four, five. We have five for boy. Five so, for boy. according to these pregnancy <clears throat> myths, we're supposed to have a girl. So, um, <clears throat> I guess now we can actually reveal, unless you got something to say. I have or nothing something. to say <clears throat> at all. <clears throat> I didn't want to do it like this. Everybody's upset about this. <clears throat> but we're going to make the best of it. So, do you have the, um, the ultrasound pictures? I think they're in the car. No, not those. Which ones? The new ones? Oh, they're on the um, dresser. I'll put... Can I put clips in the video? Or I can show, I can show in the video the ultrasound. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen. <sighs> okay. So, we're going to add a few clips of the ultrasound right now. amazing brother and a little jeans to go with it <sighs> I got this cute little outfit from Target it's one of many that I bought when I found out I have a lot of outfits back there but <clears throat> Terrell thought it was a girl and my mom also thought it was a girl but turns out Jan is gonna be my only girl so, you need kings to take over the kingdom anyway, so we gotta raise little princes. <clears throat> How do you feel about having another boy? I'm happy. I was kind of sad when I found out we was having another boy because I um, thought Caleb was gonna be my only boy, but it's alright. Two boys. We're happy. You know? And we do have a name, but this will be in another video. We're gonna, um,. <clears throat> Do another video of baby names we like, but we won't be using. Mm -hmm. So just stay tuned. That's the tuned. next video. Baby names we like, but we won't be using. And then we'll reveal what the name will be at the end of that video. So thank you guys yeah. for tuning in and checking us out. And, you know, trying to enjoy this moment with us during this crisis pandemic. We're happy that you guys are sharing this experience with us. Um, 
and we happy we're able to share it with you virtually. You know, even though we're not able to get the greatest of content that we want, we just want to still be able to document this stuff, you know. And we're going to decide whether we're having a home birth or not. Or whether we're going to put it, because she don't want to go not to yet. no hospital right now. So we'd rather uh, hire, what you call it? What's the name of it? A uh, midwife. A midwife, you know, possibly. We'll let you know what you see. I am. I was kind of upset. <clears throat> well, not upset, but. It's kind of cold in here. I was kind of expecting a girl too, because of like I said, the morning sickness and my skin breaking out and all that. But I'm kind of glad I'm not having another girl, cause I don't have to do any more hair. <laughs> and girls are a handful. I be wanting a two piece mine, <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, girls are more fun. Girls, like, their clothes and everything are cuter and stuff, but I'm grateful for what we're having. God know what I needed. Yeah, we'll make the so. best of it. That's all we got for you guys tonight. We're tired. We were going to um, um, order the uh, the movie, the Trolls movie, but we'll probably do it tomorrow or whatever. I think it's Saturday night thing. Yeah. And I didn't... We didn't cook the uh, chicken fajitas, so yeah. we'll probably do we that still tomorrow. had leftover food from earlier. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. We're going to edit this video tonight and in the morning, and it'll probably be posted by tomorrow evening. Leave down in the comments below um, some baby boy names, and um, yeah, just look forward to the next video. Love you guys, y'all. Peace. I'm gonna show one of the outfits. You gonna say it together? Mm -hmm. They gonna see it in the video. All right, in no. The clip. I'm, I'm gonna show the whole clip of the ultrasound. They gonna see everything. So we still, let's say it together. All right. One, <laughs> two, three. What? Are we saying it? Are we saying weird? <laughs> okay.